Serato 3.2 update. Let's get into it. What's up, my fearless friends? Shay Sean Fan, I'm McPherson, back to you with another gear and gadgets where I like to talk tech, apparel, and gear for DJs, musicians, and artists alike. Today, we're getting into Serato's update 3.2. And there's some goodies inside of it. It's mostly effects and some other fixes. But first, let's show the download process. So let's talk about what's new and Serato DJ 3.2. It came out July 28th. Experience a full suite of new effects. Powerful custom built enhancements are here. Dive into the mix with high quality effects you know and love, now significantly upgraded and carefully crafted by Serato. Create a signature sound with custom effects for the first time in Serato DJ. Take full control over your effects. Exclusively available to suite expansions and fx license holders which i have create save name and manage an unlimited amount of custom presets tailored exactly to your style creative channel effects assign four different sounds with a new channel effects section allowing you to move beyond a default filter knob enhanced view modes explore our redesigned interface with advanced parameters designed to enhance your control and flexibility Utilize the slim view mode for more library viewing. For Mac users, Serato 3.0 introduces native support for Apple Silicon processors and one through M3 machines, which I have. And Serato's been working good for me on my M1 Macs, but now that they made it native, it's only gonna run smoother. And you have channel effects, which is cool, where you can map an effect to the filter button on your hardware. Other changes. Manual loops now respect quantized value, improved Unicode support, imp improved international character handling so that all countries and languages could work with it. Remove support for Serato Remote and Remote Mini apps. I used to use Serato Remote back in the day, but I guess we don't need it anymore. Stop Serato DJ Pro trying to launch when being run on a Mac that does not have metal rendering. Improve crash reporting for Windows users. CPU and memory optimizations. Performance and stability optimizations. Added RAIN 4 1.0.3 Mac audio driver to Serato DJ Pro installer. Pioneer DJ DDJ FLX6 merged Effects presets have been updated. Preset 1 slot 2 is now echo instead of tape echo. Slot 4 is stretch instead of time freeze. Preset 2, 1 is now infinity tone instead of noise sweep. Slot 4 is roll instead of looper. Preset 3, slot 1 is now infinity tone instead of noise sweep. Slot 5 is ping pong delay instead of side delay. Preset 4, slot 3 is now vast reverb instead of space reverb. Master Effects Channel Assign is now supported for the following devices. Pioneer DDJ FX10 or Flex10, Roland DJ202, Roland DJ505. I hope it works with my 707M, but I don't see it on here. Uh, Serato in general works with it, but hopefully I can take advantage of this on my Roland 707M. Pioneer DJ FL, DDJ FLX4 can now apply smart CFX and smart fader effects simultaneously. Denon DJ MC6000 MK2 now has independent on off control for their channel effect. Vistex VFX1 FX now selects tremolo when tremolo is selected via hardware. Bug fixes. Fix an issue where the Rain MP2015 would not connect to Serato DJ Pro at its default 48 hertz sample rate. Fix an issue where sticker lock was occasionally not respecting the vinyl position. Fix an issue where mono out was not being respected when using Serato stem features. 
fix an issue where there was a brief increase in stem output volume when turning off a stem part for some DJs. Fix an issue where connecting the CDJ in hit mode would cause playback to toggle between forward and reverse. Fix an issue where the limiter warning light could get stuck on for some DJs. Fix an issue where some DJs could not add tracks to their beat port locker after attempting to overfill it. Fix an issue where the Q audio output volume was not set correctly for some devices. Fix an issue where there was color block being shown on the Denon DJ's SC6000 screens before the start of the waveform. Fix an issue where the enter keyboard key was not controlling the playback of deck two when using Serato DJ two deck offline mode. Fix an issue where some DJs were seeing missing waveform data in the Rain 72 screen display. Fix an issue where some DJs were getting a crash while holding shift and moving the platter on a Pioneer DJ DDJ FLX 10. Fix an issue with tracks were not being marked as played and added to history when using the, D the Pioneer DJ DJ MV10 or the DJ MV10 LF. Fix an issue where the Serato video preview window did not scale correctly when moving between output displays. Fix an issue where the Pioneer DJ XDJ RX3 4 beat loop button would start the loop at the incorrect position when long press. Fix an issue where some MP3 files were being marked corrupt incorrectly. That's not good. Fix an issue where tap tempo was not being translated when Serato DJ's language was set to Japanese. Fix an issue where phase units would not be available if they were connected to Serato DJ Pro before primary hardware was connected. Fix an issue where Serato DJ Pro was not setting the vinyl speed start and stop time correctly for some devices were connected. Fix an issue where quantize was not working in dual deck mode. And the last fix, they fixed an issue where shift pitch fader movements were not applying BPM changes correctly for some devices. And I hate, I hate that. So let's get into some of the sounds. I don't know if I'm going to go through all of them, but I'm going to show you how cool it is that they have it way more organized in the effects section of Serato. So you see they have the, the slim mode and the expanded mode that they were talking about. So you just don't take up more real estate and you can see more of the library when using these effects. But I'll break this out into this middle mode that they have so we can see all these effects. And it's way different than Serato used to have it. It's, it's more professional. And the really cool thing about it is I can use something like this uh, DJ to go uh, by Newmark and still get quality effects like you would get almost on like a, a rain performer. So let's go through some of these effects. You know, of course they have delay, which is classic. And most of us know what delay is. If you're a DJ, delay is pretty self-explanatory or if you're a musician. Um, it just gives you a repeat uh, and we use this a lot or I use it a lot when I'm turning off a track and it, it maybe is a d different BPM and I'm going in a totally different direction. I definitely use delay to kind of like fade out. And you, as you see, this is a delay and echo section that they have. So they have delay, echo, low cut, echo, which sounds like this. And I'm leaving all the effects at 12 o'clock, which gives you the best idea of the effect. Of course, you can turn that up more intense or turn that down. We got multi-tap delay. So that gives you a more um, intricate delay. We have ping pong delay. And 
And of course, that ping pongs and takes longer to go away. They sound good, though. They sound like effects that you might get built in to more expensive decks. That's why without anything. Now I'm gonna turn. Now I'm gonna turn it on. And that's a spiral echo. And it takes a while to trail off at 12 o'clock. Of course, I could turn that down a bit or turn it up and just have it keep going. We have version echo. That's a cool one that I'll probably put in my favorites. We have distortion type of effects, which is very particular. You have to know that you really want these effects because it gives it a harsher sound. As you can hear. You know, maybe you're going for like a radio or, a, a, or like getting interrupted sound. We got lo-fi crush. And you know, it sounds like radio or static. Lo-fi warmth. That's without. You know. A lot of people will stay away from these kind of sounds because it usually means you have a bad wire or something happening is wrong. You'll make a sound man go crazy if he doesn't know you're doing that. <laughs> Moving on. And you know, we got control filter, drive filter, high pass filter, infinity filter, LFO filter, LPF which is a low pass filter and a wah filter. Let's try this wah filter. I've never heard it. I don't think. Oh, that's cool. I probably could use that. Now we have a looper section and this is called repeater. Retro halftime without anything. So it's kind of like a delay and slow down. Let's see what else we got here. Just jumping through. But I do like that they have it, you know, broken up into delay and echo, distortion, filter, looper, modulation, out effects, and reverb, which I use a lot of. I'm curious if there's some way I could route uh, a microphone on some of the units through some of these out effects, but I need to test that. Uh, because I would definitely run my violin through some of this stuff. It's Transformers doing something before I even play. Basically giving you the sound like you're transforming, but they call it pans forming. Pulse spiral. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's in modulation type stuff, which means it's changing the pitch somehow. We got break echo. Gino, make some little people take you to the steeple. Break my own 
which basically makes it sound like you uh, break in on turntables, slowing down slowly, giving it a lower pitch. Break rewind. That's official for the people. Say I never show. <laughs> wow. So some of these effects are doing things that DJs would do in packaging it into an effect. You know, you could slow down your own record and, and pull it back like that last um, break rewind. We got clean echo out. Let me hear how that sounds. And if I ever lost you, I would want to leave the world. Okay. Epic stretch rewind, which is probably like a rewind sound. Turn it off first. <laughs> yeah, it's giving you a rewind sound. Let's see some of these reverbs. Let's go to the vast reverb. And basically giving you a whole reverby sound. Try one more verb that I haven't seen. Okay, so we have tone, the last effect. Infinity tone, like an infinity stone. style just keep going forever infinity tone and let's do the last tone since there's only two space invaders maybe this is going to sound like a video game let's see That reminds me of a lot of DJs out here definitely using the Space Invaders turnout. It's basically like a, a more of a sample to me, uh, those last tone ones. But there's a whole list of new effects. Um, you have to, you see this here, you have to have the full licenses. So this is for play. And I have the full license because I have bought a lot from Serato when it first came out. So I'm not doing subscription. Uh, I have the full Serato effects, so that's all the effects that you would get. I have the uh, Pitch and Time, Serato Flip, DVS. I didn't set up my video on this computer. Uh, of course, Serato, the program itself, and Serato Studio. So the biggest thing with uh, other than it running well with my MacBook M1 Max, uh, it's, it's, you know, giving you a lot of sounds and giving you a lot of options. If you don't have an expensive controller, you can use something like this DJ to go and still get great effects in the club. And this is perfect for traveling. And I, you know, I'm here for the mobile DJs. I find myself doing gigs in towns with a band and then I might want to DJ later and you know where your packing room is a premium or you might just want to bring a carry on small decks like this and the prime go come in golden I even bring my 707 M which is a mobile deck but you know that's a little bit bigger um, so that's the basics of this Serato DJ 3.0 let me know what you think about it uh, let me know how you might use it with your equipment. And I thank you for stopping by. 
Let me know any comments and questions in the bottom. Please like and subscribe as I'm trying to grow the channel. Once again, Shay Sean Finn, I'm McPherson. Peace.